Alright, hi guys. Last Ipsy boxy opening did not go well because, well, mainly it was empty. So this is my uh, May box. I did not get a June one because of how May went and then how long it took to get a new one. This one wasn't supposed to be here till the 15th, so it was still a shock, but... We'll see how it goes. This is the uh, plus bag. Makeup brushes. Ooh, I like that these tell you what each one is for. Like for like a straight to the point, a sultry smudge. Pencil me in for this one. This one's turned around, so I'm not quite sure. And then no fudge, just smudge. I like the little bag that comes with it. Little tassel, I like that. Ooh, it's soft. The tassel's soft. I like that. Eyeshadow palette, Mimosa Moment by Color Rain. Let's see, vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and gluten-free. That's nice. Not afraid to use cardboard, though. <laughs> Just being a jerk. Ooh, those are pretty brown colors. And neutrals, nice and shimmery. See this gold. Okay. You can't. <laughs> what about the darker one back here? Oh. Oh, that's nice. I like that. That it just like smooths right in, but it can also be really pigmented too. That's nice. That's going to be fun to play with. I'm not really a brown person, but I like to try things out. Nomad by Sydney Bathers. Special edition, special edition Ipsy. No idea what this is. Kiss of Sun palette. Sun-kissed face palette with four highlighting and bronzing powders to create the natural glistening look of the sexy Sydney Ciders, formulated with extra fine pigments, making each powder smooth, blendable, and buildable, infused with macadamia oil to help, feel, help the skin feel soft and moisturized. I don't even know if I can get it out. That's a big-ass palette. Wow. I don't even know how to use this. I'm not even going to pretend to. I like the mirror on it, though. Trippy. Anyways. Designed on location in Sydney, Australia. Manufactured at Nomad's Lab in Chi Labs in China. <laughs> That's fantastic. Sugar Coat, a Sugar Rush Tart, a Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Let's see. It's got a weird, like, matte feel to the bottle. That's weird. The heck kind of color is that? It feels, it feels like the bottle feels. I don't, I don't know. Let's try. I'm sorry. I'm not a lipstick person. I'm not good at doing it, so I'm going to use a mirror. And even then, it's going to be terrible. Smells really good, though. Told you it's going to be terrible. Okay, so 
if you've ever used like the pore filler stuff, it feels exactly like that on the lips. It's got a weird silky texture to it, but it's also kind of nice. Kind of like it, kind of don't. We'll see how it goes. Let it dry a little bit. A lot of blot. Second blot. First blot. So. Actually doesn't look too bad on me. Girl. Just kidding. Okay, so bright eyes. Oh, I love this stuff. I was actually getting ready to run out. I'm so glad that I got one. This stuff is freaking amazing. If you have any issues with like black or dark under eyes, the bruising looking, just tired looking eyes, this stuff wakes your eyes up. I love it. I even actually use a little bit anywhere that like is just feeling a little bit tired or like doesn't feel like it's like up to my standards I guess like like even right here like I just feel like it's like kind of not as firm as it normally is I'll use this stuff and it's amazing so I guess that was my box this time it was really nice. I'm glad that I finally got it. It would have been really nice to get it at the beginning of the month. And it doesn't even have what it said it was going to have in it. Which is the one thing that I picked. Which was these little acne stars things. But, whatever. You get what you get. At least I actually got something. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.